Dear fourth sem civil stream students, welcome back into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. Today I am with the passing package and important questions for uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic subject. Most of the students were asking me. Either I have observed comments also from the student side. Okay, so this is BCV402. Is it a subject code? Let me discuss here super important questions which will appear in the VTU examinations. Okay, so let us start here uh, model wise. So from model first, you have to cover uh, at least five questions. State and uh, prove Pascal's law. Derive an expression for the capillary rise of a liquid in tube of diameter D. Distinguish between ideal and real fluids, uh, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, and adhesion and cohesion. So sometimes they will ask you definitions also. When you go through, once you go through these topics, automatically you will come to know the difference also, right? Next is define the following and uh, write their SI unit density. Space P weight, these are the properties of fluid. Space P gravity, surface tension, capillarity, and compressibility. Okay, so these are the definitions. Two two lines are enough to write down. Okay, so two two marks it may be there or one one marks each. Next is uh, problems on differential manometer. Okay, so for that you have to refer the papers 18 CV 33, and also you can refer. Uh, 21 cv42 paper okay and model question papers also if you want to cover the numericals on differential manometer next is derive the expression for total pressure and center of pressure on a vertical and inclined plane surface submerged in a fluid so this much is enough to cover the model first next is model second where we have derived the expression for three-dimensional continuity equation in Cartesian coordinates in general form. This is a super important question, most frequently asked question in the VTU examination. Next is uh, define velocity potential function and stream function. Also write down their relationship with velocity components in x and sorry x, y and z directions. Next we have distinguish between uh, steady flow and unsteady flow, uniform flow and non-uniform flow rotational flow and irrotational flow and laminar flow and turbulent turbulent flow it may be 10 marks question next is derive euler's equation of motion and obtain bernoulli's equation from it this is also a super important question what is venturi meter and derive an expression for discharge through a venturi meter and what is orifice meter derive an expression for discharge through orifice meter so this much if you cover you can at least get a uh, 10 to 15 marks and uh, if you want to go through problems of venturi meter and orifice meter similarly you have to go through 18 cv 33 and 21 cv 42 so if you are unable to get uh, these papers so let me know in the comment section so that i can upload those papers on my instagram account also okay next is model third explain uh, different hydraulic coefficients and establish the relationship between them there are an expression for uh, discharge over a triangular notch state its advantage or a rectangular notch explain major loss and minor losses pipes in series and parallel and water hammer and surge, uh, surge tanks you have to write down the short notes on it next we have explain the theory concept and classification of orifices and mouthpieces write a short note on sipoliti notch okay next is numericals as usual what I have mentioned so far and derived Darcy Wedgeback equation for head loss due to friction in pipe. Next is model 4 define most economical channel section derive the conditions for best hydraulic triangular channel section. Define open channel flow give the classification of flow channels with example what is specific uh, energy curve draw it and derive expression for critical depth and critical velocity of a rectangular channel okay. Next is derive the relationship between conjugate depths in case of hydraulic jump on a horizontal flow. So these are four super important questions which may appear in the examination okay these are the only chances next is practice numericals if you are convenient next is model fifth with a neat sketch explain the components of pelton wheel by means of neat sketch explain fence turbine next we have derive an expression for the work done per second by water on the runner of a pelton wheel hence derive an expression for maximum efficiency of the pelton wheel define manometric head static head suction head delivery head and sorry delivery head for centrifugal pump these uh, sorry these three definitions you have to sorry these four definitions you have to go for the centrifugal pump over there with the help of needs sketch explain velocity triangle show that for a free jet of water striking at the center of semiconductor van the maximum efficiency occurs when the van velocity is one by one by three of jet velocity and the maximum efficiency is equal to 59.2 so this much content is enough for the fluid mechanics and hydraulics so these questions should be at your utmost priority okay go through these all varieties of questions whatever i have mentioned later on you will go through the problems 
by referring papers 18 CV 33 and 21 CV 42 to cover the varieties of problems so that you will be good in the subject and you can pass the subject with the flying color so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates so that they can also take down these important questions thank you